Hi everyone, in this video we'll be having a look at the Intel Core i7-7700K. This is an engineering sample model, but it performs so well that I believe it's a good representation of the retail unit. Now let's have a look at the benchmarks. Now as you can see from the benchmarks, going from stock to 5.1GHz does offer quite some performance boost. In order to get to 5.1GHz, I had to pump the vCore to 1.375 But if I were to settle for a lesser speed, let's say 5GHz, I could run it at 1.33 Now as for the cooling, I use this Cryorig R1 Universal Now for this unit, I managed to keep the processor at under 90 Celsius when the vCore is at 1.33 but when going to higher vCore range, like 1.75, 1.4, I had to resort to my Cooler Master Nepton 240M. It is an all-in-one cooler. As for the power draw, here it is. As you can see, the Core i7-7700K at 5.1GHz with 1.375 vCore draws a lot more power. Bear in mind that this is the peak power draw reading from the wall. So we've come to the end of this video. What do I think about this Core i7-7700K that retails slightly over RM1600? I think it's a great processor. Please buy it if you have the funds and you intend to overclock. If you don't intend to overclock, no, just get the non-K variant. Now, if you intend to overclock and do not have the budget for it, do look at the Core i5-7600K. Alright, so that's it for this video. I'll catch you again in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.